In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to flash the BenQ VAD6038 Xbox 360 DVD drive with iXtreme firmware on a desktop computer using the Executor Connectivity Kit version 3 and Jungle Flasher. I know that there are other ways to flash the BenQ. You don't absolutely need uh, the connectivity kit. I know that you can use iPrep, um, you can use DOS Flash, um, what have you. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm showing you how to do it with the connectivity kit and Jungle Flasher. Um, the connectivity kit is a good investment either way uh, because it enables any drive, any 360 drive, to be flashed in Windows with Jungle Flasher. So, uh, first of all, you're going to need a, co a compatible SATA chipset. This card right here is probably the best one to have to get the compatibility that you need. Your motherboard might have uh, SATA ports on it that are compatible with 360 drives, but this is maybe like 12 bucks, and it's compatible with any brand of 360 drive, so it's good to have this. Um, you'll also obviously need the, con the connectivity kit. I'm using the Pro. The light should be the same process. Uh, and you'll need Jungle Flasher. I'll include all the programs, the firmware, and the description. So first of all, install the VIA card. Um, and here are the connections that you want to have. You should be able to just connect everything in Windows uh, without having to restart or anything. Just, uh, yeah. I'm using a serial connection instead of a USB because I was having problems with USB earlier on. Uh, that's It's just my own preference. Make sure you, before you turn on the connectivity kit that you install the port IO32 drivers and also the um, the USB drivers for the connectivity kit if you're using USB. Okay, um, before we flash, the VIA cards like to freeze uh, your computer and jungle flasher if you're using a VIA card, you need to do this. Uh, this is a workaround for the freezing issue. Go into Device Manager, find your VIA card, uh, disable it. I've already done it, so I'm not going to click it. And then go into Windows System32 Drivers and rename the VIAMRAID.sys file to something else. I renamed mine to .old. And then go back into Device Manager and re-enable the card you'll get the yellow exclamation point perfectly normal just for what we're doing right now so now you can open jungle flasher go to mtk flash 32 and click benq unlock Okay, see that failed this time, and that's okay. If if it fails on that, you can hit Intro Device ID, and as soon as like after you hit Yes, power cycle the connectivity kit, turn it off and on real quick. And see now we have a good status over here on the right side. First, read from the drive to dump your firmware. and just go ahead and save it. Uh, you can hit no um, on this part unless you have put all your firmware into the right folder. Uh, just, just click no for the purpose of the video. Hit open target firmware and go to your BenQ iExtreme 1.6 hacked firmware. Click open. Okay. Spoof source to target. I'll copy your drive key over and save your hacked firmware. Oh, I suggest you save it. Now go 
back to MTK Flash 32, click Erase. It'll erase your all the firmware off your drive. And then click Write. It'll automatically write the firmware, the hack firmware that we just loaded a second ago. Verify. And you are done. Enjoy your burned games.